Hello there. Today I've decided to do another pour from my silicone cup, except this time I'm using two cups. The first one has got purple, lime green and gold sandwiched into my white. And the second one has got dark blue, metallic pink, and old mauve, sandwiched also in between the white. And I've also got black to use around the edges if I haven't got enough paint to put onto the canvas. So I'm going to pour those two cups on one at a time and see what sort of patterns that I can make. I'll get started now. happy with that. As you noticed fairly early on as I was pouring, I decided I didn't want 
to keep the cup that had the green, the purple and the gold in it because I was loving what was happening here with the pinks and the red and the blue. And so I'm sort of a little uh, in two minds about what I would call this picture because to me it reminds me of melting ice cream or for some people who would call it a melting snow cone. Um, other than, otherwise it looks like an avalanche with rocks and things just it, the you're not limited to what is in your imagination so you can I could call it just about anything I wanted to just got a little blob of paint there that I want to get rid of so right so that is my painting I'm not doing any more on it I'll leave it exactly as it is but I am going to lift it up now to the camera so that you can have a better look at it. And I'll show you some of those cells and what's going on with those. In that corner over there, I'm not sure exactly how that's formed, but I'm happy with it. I'm assuming again it's the metallic paint. Then you've got those beautiful lines up there with the pink and the red all sort of blended and again, in the centerpiece right there, you've got a little bit more blending going on over on this side, um, heading down towards the darker colours and some cell action in that corner. But overall, I think it is just really pretty. And I'm very happy with that too. And I'm enjoying pouring from my silicon cups. But uh, unfortunately this time I managed to uh, put up, take off a lot more paint than what I actually should have been using. So I will be saving that paint for another pour. I'm thinking I might use some of those drippings to make another flower garden for myself. So we'll see how I go. <laughs> flower garden on canvas. So that's it for me for this painting and this video. Once again, thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time.